Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and like and share with your friends. So this afternoon, I went to visit um, a lady up in the Longsight area of Manchester. And if you haven't seen the video where I um, uploaded back a, a couple of months ago, I think it was, uh, I found a tropical fruiting tree in Manchester. Um, I'll put the link in the description box below. Have a look at that and you will see this uh, incredible, huge pomegranate tree growing in Manchester. It must be at least 30, 40 years old. It is absolutely massive, growing very well in the northwest of the, of the UK. Um, for those of you who don't know where Manchester is um, in the UK, we're sort of, um, a, I would say, approximately 240 miles from London. So most people know where London is. London's down south, we're further up north. We get a lot of rain and temperatures here. Uh, our summers aren't great, you know, we have short summers, um, shorter than um, people who live in the in the south of England. They seem to fare better with the weather there but it was so amazing to find this pomegranate tree and actually got a cutting from um, them today so I've literally I've just popped it in water and I'm going to add a couple of clips very very short clips uh, to show you how that um, pomegranate uh, tree is doing the uh, lady very kindly um, let me have this cutting. I did offer some money for it and she said no, no, I wouldn't dream of it. And I met the uh, lady's grandmother, who is actually the owner of the house. Um, she's a dis she was a very fragile lady, so she sits indoors most of the time. And we discussed plants, you know, and um, I offered uh, one of my beetle leaf plants. So I'm going to do a cutting, one of the beetle leaf plants, and I will, you know, uh, offer her that as an exchange you know for this cutting of her plant and you can see the the stem on it's quite thick uh, i have tried taking cuttings in the past from other plants my own plants pomegranate plants and i've always gone for the thin weedy looking branches thinking that they would root faster but i've since found out that the best cuttings to take are the thick ones so a, a thick uh, branch like this is more likely to do better so I'm literally gonna keep it in water keep it hydrated and maybe it will start to root but I'm not gonna put it straight into soil because it needs to you know um, if I do that it's just gonna dry out it's not gonna root so um, I'm gonna see if I can get this to root in water and then you know plant it up in a say a Johnny's a Johnny's number three potting mix so it's um fingers crossed because i know that this is a fruiting plant you know and uh, cuttings and grafts do better you know when it comes to fruiting and flowering than actual growing from seed but you know there's no harm in doing both so i'll add the two clips in very short clips mind um and you will see what's happened to that uh, pomegranate tree so without further ado. So here I am back at the house where I did the first filming of this pomegranate, pomegranate tree there. in Longsight, Manchester, Let's UK. Make it bigger. And there is the original pomegranate that I filmed in the first video. And you can Try see it's zoom. grown much bigger. It's about the size, I can't really zoom in on it, but it's about the size of a cricket ball. And I'll put up some still pictures. There's there it is, uh, a bit bigger. Um, this is the other one. There's two actually uh, hanging on to this tree. So uh, very kindly, they've let me have this cutting from the tree. There are still some flowers on there, but there on the right of the screen, you can see one pomegranate, and here is the other one on the left. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.